Okay, 10 minute game. Opponents already come out with a bit of quirk. And it's just pawn, pawn management at the minute. Pawn, not paw. <laughs> So they're inching down, hoping that we overextend, and they're still continuing with these pawns. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Let's bring the bishop here. Attacking through the centre, I'm going to capture just to open up the space, see what it looks like. And he's pushed past. Develop the knight. I'm trying not to get entranced by any of this poor movement, just developing pieces as best possible. And his queen is looking to come to this side here, put a check on the king. So. We are looking to get king safety. He does capture. Let's go king safety castle. He may come to defend the pawn here. He can attack our bishop. And they've resigned. Interesting. That was a very special looking opening. Okay. Okay, next 10 minute zero game. So I'm just attacking the pawn. Just going to come through onto the centre, attacking the pawn. All these are based on what the opponent does at the end of the day so again it's just constant practice of trying to make it right as best possible going to capture here capture the queen make sure i don't mouse slip and develop the bishop attacking the pawn in the corner just well in this center bit here capture block this knight from jumping to these key squares and king safety okay so he's going to be castling by hand it looks like pawn here getting the rook across there let's develop the bishop out attacking this pawn yes like we said he's going to castling by hand so we could start pushing towards his knight to make them feel a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. So going to do as we've said, attack the knight. So we're swarming towards the king area as best possible. Du, du, du. It's on a dark square. Knight can now take this pawn. His knight is probably going to jump to attack our bishop. Do have a gap here to attack his rook, but his rook can escape. Um knight can bishop develop this knight maybe he's attacking this pawn so could really support this pawn with this pawn or attack a higher piece first attack a higher piece first and then attack the knight because it was going to be attacking us so they're moving pretty swift now. I'm a bit worried now because I've put that pawn there and now my knight can't jump back to that square. So I'm gonna have to do something a little bit stealthy. I should really bring the rook here, then the knight can go and put a check on his king and escape. So I'm going to do that. That's if his bishop doesn't, ah, his bishop's moved. Let's capture the bishop. He's coming for my knight. Look, he's really stalking it, you can tell. 
Uh, right, so I've got nowhere to go. I can't go anywhere. My knight is trapped. Oh, damn, that was a silly mistake. I can't even tack his knight. Oh, drat. Drat and blast. Oh. Can't do anything about that. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. I, I genuinely can't do anything with it. That was going to be my get out clause. I shouldn't have pushed this pawn onto the knight. Damn. Mm. Rooks can't do anything. This rook can go there, but it's like... um. <sighs> so, if we went... Yeah, but the knight is still there, so I need to get the knight moved. Oh my word. I'm a knight, man, and my knights have let me down now. Oh. Oh, horrendous. Oh, that's bad form. That's bad form. So it's gonna. I'm going to have to take that pawn then with the knight. Uh, okay, fair enough. Damn. Damn, okay, we'll see, we'll see if we can make something of it. So we'll take that pawn there, so at least there, it's a knight for a pawn. He's not doing that just yet. Are we gonna, I don't think he's letting us escape, is he? We're taking, it's a check on the king. So the idea then is, if we can get this rook doubled here, uh, oh, there's no no safe square for it to go because the rook knight can still challenge it i'm looking to get my rook stuck yeah damn 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 oh i knew i wasn't going to be fast enough if i'd have got them doubled i'd have been able to put my knight here this king is in I'm going to have to take the pawn, like we said, and accept my fate. Right, okay. So we're playing with the minor piece down. Let's reframe. It's, his king is in a very precarious position. We do have a file here, but he does have pawns. And there's no good squares on this file for the rooks, really. Mm-hmm. Don't know why they're taking so long is it not just the simple matter of taking the night <laughs> um there's not a right lot i'm gonna have to try and get funky with my knight answer because his king is in a funny position he's let us off he's let us off why did they do that what's this person's name oh that's not right is it That's not right. No, that was too obvious that. I mean, it was simple capturing of the night. Hmm. Something's not right in the state of Texas, Texas here. Were they thinking some magical thing or something? I don't get that. I don't get that at all. Mat uh. Okay. So he's given us something, but it's like, I'm very curious. It's got my paw on here as well. Let's do this. Okay. I think I'm overthinking. I'm just a bit stunned at that. Okay, these things happen, I suppose, but not as obvious as that. He's attacking.
Just seeing if I can get a double on here on this pawn. It's really basic. It's not going to let us do that, is it? But uh, somehow I feel like I'm getting forked. If I go here, his king can come up, but it's not going to do that, is it? Yeah, it's 1587. I don't understand why a simple pawn taking the knight there. But no. They must be playing to lose or something. His knight can come up. Well, no, he can't because he'll get taken by them. He's grabbing pawns, he's grabbing pawns. I feel like I'm falling into a trap. What's he done? Knight move. Let's take that. So it's a very strange game. And we seem to have come out of it not through any fault of our own at all um bad placement of our pawn in the first part of the game um again he's got knights so he, we need to be careful let's grab don't want my time to run out either and he's chasing me down let's grab he's got a check on me Just pushing the pawn because the pawn can't take because it's um, got a pin on it. Doesn't have the pin anymore, as we've noticed. So I'll take this pawn because that's the only one that can get promoted from their side. And I'm actually going to take this knight off now. So it's got one knight to play with. Protect. Take that. Okay, well, I'll go whoop, but not whoop because it really wasn't our game. But maybe the opponent did make an error and they were trying to be fancy um, with their movement of not actually taking um, my knight. But in any case, um, yeah, them's the apples. That's the answer to chess. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, 10 minute zero game. So let's develop the bishop, attacking. See if we can get kingside castle, let's kingside castle, king safety. Symmetrical type situation. Obviously, he's going to be looking to pressure the centre because they want to be leading in tempo. He's not actually gone for that. So, going to bring ours, putting pressure onto his queen as well. So, yes, the opponents are doing everything just fine and dandy. So, I think I'm actually going to take the knight. So, the queen is now developed into the centre. The knight is now attacking the queen and also attacking this pawn here. 
So it's attacking a higher piece and attacking a, a lesser piece that's unprotected at the moment. Our bishop's got a nice diagonal through to their king. His bishop still has the annoying factor of having an x-ray through to our queen. And his bishop has an attack on our king as well. So they're thinking about it. What they really don't want to do is they don't want to bring the queen all the way back here to actually protect the pawn. So we're making them do something that they didn't really want to do. So I suppose that's a good thing. So our knight can stay there for a moment or two. Just going to touch onto the bishop, see what it really wants to do. Does it want to trade or is it going back? Are we then looking to open up our king area for, with an attack on the bishop? Doesn't have a support from a knight, so I think we can go with that. So the queen is babysitting a pawn. It's not really what it's designed to do. So I think the knight is going to move now somewhere so that this pawn can push onto the knight or he may go for the knight exchange. So in terms of the answer process, probably would be best chasing this bishop down to close down the king area. But I'm very mindful his queen does have a gap here. Knight is currently protecting, but I don't want the knight staying there forever. Could bring the knight here, but the queen will take. What's my queen doing? My queen isn't doing a right lot at the moment. Could attack the bishop, but he's got a two on one there. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a lazy man thing to get this pawn pushed on. So if they move really quick then, so they want their bishop to sit here. That's a nice position for their bishop. So I'm actually going to push onto the bishop, continue the attack in that process. Our queen is protecting our knight here. So if the knight does take, we can take with the queen. So we're covered off there. So they've moved the bishop. So the knight can actually take the bishop and he opens up his rook or opens up the file. I'm going to take the bishop because knights hunt the bishops in our mantra. And I'm going to take the knight now. So the pawn is doubled up in that area. It's highly advanced is the pawn so that's a plus for it so going to continue now pushing upwards like we said this area here is where the queen is going to be looking so maybe we want to bring the queen first to here so that then we can interact with it if it comes to this square and it's a small inroad towards the king area as well So how's it looking? It's not looking too bad. Um, there's no open files for the rooks really. Um, half open file, oh, so he's doing inchy inchy to actually try and condense my dark square bishop. So this pawn is the supporter for potentially this pawn here. So we could do our own inchy inchy with a little lazy man move on the far side. If he drops, then we can at least take the pawn here. So it's small potatoes, time-wise not doing too bad, but in these games I'm trying not to really focus on time, I'm trying to focus on trying to improve the quality of my play. But like I say, you're not going to see everything and you're not going to win every game. Um, there's no chess player that wins every game, but there's the attempt at playing quality games even if you have lost. So we have a two on one. He's got a two on one on this pawn side of the king. I don't know if this side does arrows. Um, I'm not, not used to this. I played about five games on here. Oh, it's chess 24. Does it do anything? Right clicking? No, it doesn't. Okay. Maybe you have to be a premium member or something. So the rook now itself has brought itself down. So it's taking itself off of the back. So it's out of action for a minute. But in the grand scheme of things, this queen is going to move. Then he wants to double up onto this pawn. So we could circumvent that by pushing the lazy man up. He pushes down his pawn. Then we bring the bishop here. But that's really not the process for what I'm following. I need to be focusing on simple direct moves to remove pieces from the ball strategically. And strategically means towards the king area. Does it impact on the, the, the king at all? His king is sitting quite happy in that little cubby hole that he's got. Hmm. 
but you can't ignore the potential for if we push this pawn, this pawn up then he can push down and he's sat there in the centre but then there's nothing hassling but then he can double his rooks up on this file and that's going to be a bit of a trite process I'm not into having a trite process which isn't protected that pawn's loosely protected bishop dart square there has to be something that can be done queen coming here attacking this pawn nothing else is coming I mean this pawn's got no protection on it as it is what if we pushed here then his pawn pushes down totally blocks everything off I'm actually going to bring my queen here because the ugliest thing is his queen actually having access there altogether anyway and we covered that off in the early doors so I'm just bringing my queen here covering off but it's got a nice diagonal towards this pawn here which the queen is babysitting it's now actually dropped it so we could take the pawn he takes back his pawn is on us our bishop can sit on this file here controlling this square at the back I'm going to take and then just rest the bishop here only thing that can hassle it now is uh, either a rook exchange or the bishop coming to take it off of there so it's controlling this file quite nicely for a few moments it's got double pawns in the center we have a weak pawn here that has no protection on it they're moving fairly quick actually this queen is looking to come down to the back here to get this pawn hmm so we could push on to the queen just to block that activity supported by the rook and now we can in essence bring this rook across here facing this queen or bring this rook across to face the queen and he looks like he's taken a pawn has he yes so i'm going to condense down onto his bishop i'm not too bothered about the pawn because the queen is sort of out of the game at the minute being in that position because we're now swarming the king area so the whole idea is now to focus on putting pressure on the king area for the answer so our rook could come here attacking his rook we've got support with the bishop as well I'm inclined to go with that you know because it then opens up his space because then our queen can come to the back potentially here attacking his rook with a check if it falls out like that that's a longer process but I'm going with that because his bishop's out of commission at the moment and he's actually gone for oh I'm actually going to double the rooks put double the rooks up his queen is on the rook so we need to be mindful of that so we're trying to take advantage of having the strength in, in this area So one of the rooks is taking, I don't think I win out, well, yeah, bishop's there, his queen is around the back, it's just going to take all the pawns, but if his king is stuck in the back we can get a checkmate, back rank checkmate. That's the bigger picture, I'm not doing any further calculations, <clears throat> we'll see what the opponent is actually going to do. So the queen moves, the queen wants to get pawns off the board, he's looking at getting these centre pawns down isn't he? So getting that there, that, but the bishop is protecting here. So what is he wanting to really do? Put a check on my king and get an exchange off. Rook takes with a check, or rook takes here with a check. No, don't know, no. Rook takes. And then his rook takes then our rook goes up with a check his rook has to take bishop takes his queen <coughs> yeah 
His queen comes here with a check on our king. We take his pawn is advanced down the board. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to risk the fact that his queen is down at the bottom towards our king area because it's not got any support. It's just by itself at the moment. So I'm going to take that chance. So then we can go here with the check, like we said, bishop takes. And the queen is looking at popping off pawns or something or the other. Let's go here. Our queen has access to this area here. So if they forget themselves, if the bishop moves, we can look for a back rank checkmate. But I don't know. I don't know. This is the part where I'm not too sure because it depends what the opponent's going to do. Is he going to go for the exchange? Yes, he has done. So let's go here. Let's bring the king across. His bishop's out of commission at the moment. And that's a white square as well. Right, okay, so we're going to have to go here. He's dropped onto our pawn. So if we pushed up, his um, bishop is going to escape anyway, isn't it? If we push up. Pawn pushes down. Yeah, let's go here because he's still got a bit of blunt on the on our pawn. I'm looking at ideas of pushing here onto this pawn. He takes, we take, but then we can't get that pawn. Ah, I see. He's playing this sort of game. Uh, I really wanted to drop onto something to attack. Um, I'm just going to have to come back here. Time's running down. Is. If we go here, and capture, I mean he do has, he, he's got, I think we've got to see, he's got more pawns than me or something. Um, push so if he drops with king king comes back and push actually his bishop could come down here and support this pawn I think I need to be very careful actually I'm on 1 minute 50 yeah all he's going down Yeah, he's, he's coming down. Mm, push. Something weird has happened, but uh, yeah, so oh, he's going for the bishop. Doesn't want the bishop in the game, so he's linked up pawns as well, if that happens. And he's got this pawn here on the corner. Oh, it's all, it's all gone to pot. And his king is going to be fast enough with these two two um, double pawns. Ooh. Yeah, so if I take with the bishop, then he takes and then his king comes across. And yeah, he's going to be a bit faster than me. Ah, what happened there? Let's go with this one. This is faster. So it's going to take a while for all those ones, and the king's not going to be fast enough to come back for it. Run one. Oh, and they've resigned. Excellent. That was a. I think it was a having a a little bit of an awareness at the end, realizing that this pawn was higher up than the opponent's other pawns. So yeah nice focus really enjoyed the game it was getting a bit tense the exchanges were working uh, quite nicely and yeah it's just spotting those weak areas advanced pawns want to be pushed they want to go up and mine were up a bit faster i was worried that these were going to be faster his king was going to come and peel all the pawns off which it did but then we had the sense to see that we could capture this pawn 
and there's no way the king could get it there's no way he's going to come down here fast enough so we'd get a queen and be able to take all the pawns off nice game the answer to chess